Back in the summer of 2018, I was only able to fish a handful of times. One of the few places I was able to fish was the Arkansas River, and it is where I saw a majority of my success. So I knew when I planned out the route of our Colorado trip, I would have to fish the same river I had two years prior, just to see if it lived up to the memories. And it didn't disappoint. We have made it to the Arkansas River. A bit change in scenery, it's a lot higher mountain tops. I know the mountain tops around here are like 14,000 feet, which is actually ridiculous. So, we're getting rigged up, putting on waders. Um, basically our plan is to fish the Arkansas, and we're gonna kinda work our way up the Arkansas throughout the day, and hopefully catch a bunch of fish for you guys. I think Andrew's gonna throw a streamer, I'm just gonna do nymphs off the rip and just see what's even going on, see if there's any hatches, just try to catch some fish. Um, if you guys haven't already, go check out the South Platte video. It was a really, really fun day. And um, yeah, hopefully we can do what we did with the South Platte, except even better, maybe catch a few more fish. So we're gonna get on the river and hopefully not forget anything. Dallas got one. Love it. Yep. Oh, shoot. First round of the Arkansas. Took long enough. We actually don't have a net, which, um, I'll talk about in one second. So, it's gonna be a more difficult landing job, that's all that means. Did you just get a shot of it? Well, that's my first Arkansas River brown trout. It took a little bit, but Dallas doesn't have any trouble. That's why he's filming right now and I'm fishing. I'm gonna stop it. All right, going for the release. Get a close up, kind of close up on him. Sweet. All right, guys. So that's my first brown of the brown of the Arkansas River. I caught it in a little piece of slack water up there behind that rock on just a little. Um, I'm using a laser legal. Here, see if you can focus in on this thing. You guys have seen me use the laser legal before. It's what I caught that 21 inch brown on in one of my earlier videos in West Virginia. But so funny story. We got to the Arkansas. Dallas is catching a bunch of fish. Andrew tries to, or he does, he fishes up in front of us just to get kind of a head start and see if he can catch some fish, kind of spread out a little bit. And I couldn't carry the net. Dallas really couldn't carry the net. So we just decided to give it to Dallas and put it in his back uh, backpack. And this river, as you can see, is very fast, it's very swift. And at some point when we were stumbling across one of these parts of the river, the net fell out. We have no idea when or where and I'm sure the net is long gone. So if you guys fish the Arkansas River and you see a catch cam net, I guess it's yours now. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But um, 
So we're netless right now. Andrew went back to look for the net. Uh, he's probably not gonna find it. If not, he's gonna grab the net out of the car. And then I assume he's gonna meet us up here. I don't know. But me and Dallas were just like, well, we might as well catch fish and make the best out of it because, I mean, he's already broke a rod this trip, so. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, we're gonna keep fishing up here and see if we can catch more brown trout, I guess. Got him. There we go. There we go, finally, guys. Look at the colors on this guy. An amazing looking chart. We didn't get a release on him. Well, good news is Andrew caught a trout. Andrew finally caught a brown trout as well as I did. Bad news is I somehow broke my rod. I legitimately, honestly have no idea. I mean, me and Dallas were literally standing next to each other. Um, I casted, stripped in my line, and then I looked and I was like, oh look, my rod fell apart. You know, like I thought it like dislocated at one of the um, sections that come apart. No, snapped in two. I don't know when it happened. I have no idea how it happened, but so now we've lost a net and I broke a rod in the course of like an hour and a half fishing the Arkansas. We've seen a crap ton of fish. Like the fish, the amount of fish in here is kind of crazy. But as far as we've seen, they're all browns. And okay, Andrew had one rainbow hit out of all the fish we've seen. And one thing that I've learned quickly, and I've actually fished this river before, so it's not the first time I've ever fished this river. But one thing we've learned quickly is like, the current is raging in here. And the fish love to sit on edges and eddies as you can, if you can find an edge or an eddy of some sort then you're pretty much golden second thing we've learned pretty quickly is that it'd be tough to nymph this place because a lot of the places where the fish are sitting the current's so fast you'd have to mend you'd have to be i mean i don't even know if it's possible to mend the way that you'd have to mend to keep the flies looking normal but maybe they hit regardless i don't know i know this river gets a little bit less fishing pressure than like the south Platte that we fished yesterday and stuff but yeah as long as we find those little pockets throw a little streamer in there, bounce a little bit, and there's almost always a fish in them. So we're gonna keep fishing. I apparently have to switch rods because we have a rod down and yeah. All right guys, so I just wanted to update you on what I'm using. Um, I broke that rod. It was a, a Reddington Crosswater. It's one of the first rods I ever bought actually. And it's done really well. I've had it for three or four years now. Um, I've switched to a Risen Genesis. Um, shout out to Risen. Uh, all their stuff is going to be linked in the bio, but um, I'm using a Risen Genesis right now. It's also a nine foot five weight. That's what we're all throwing is nine foot five weights right now because it's just an all around good rod. Um, if you catch a little fish, it can still be fun. If you catch a big fish, uh, you still have a chance of landing it. So I split away from the rest of the guys, Andrew and Dallas. Um, I'm going to go see if I can catch up and find where they're at up the river somewhere and continue fishing. Alright guys, so I'm not going to lie, we may or may not have gotten slightly distracted by a smaller tributary of the Arkansas. Um, we were just catching so many fish and we ended up spending a little bit too long there. Um, it'll probably be in a separate video, but long story short, we found a little trib, caught a crap ton of fish out of it, and now we have set up camp and we're about to head to the upper Arkansas, which is probably one of my more favorite sections of the Arkansas River, and we're gonna see if we can't catch some browns on some hopper droppers. Maybe some brook trout, maybe some rainbow trout too. So, we might even go after trifecta. I have no idea. Anyway, let's get to it. Something hit the dry and I didn't hook it on the dry. Oh yeah, I did. 
the other net. So. I mean, realistically, never mind. Yeah, you don't need it. It's literally two inches. All right, guys. First fish. An absolute monarch of a brown. I know you've never seen a fish that big. Stop it. I'm just gonna hook it and let it go. Dry fly eat though. That's cool. That's a big dry fly too, so that's exciting. Kind of a hopper dropper, kind of a dry dropper. I can't grab it because the wind's blowing. I have a cicada on actually. Really, I just want it to look kind of like an ant or something. Um, then at the bottom, I just have a, a pheasant tail. Nothing special. Size probably 14. So we're gonna keep moving up through here. I just had a dry fly hit. We spooked one right here that was much bigger than that one. So keep moving, see what happens. All right, guys. Apologize for not recording, but uh, just right in front of this little grass patch right here. And what was your other hand? Here is a brookie. So got the brook trout out of the way. We'll probably catch more, so I'm not too worried about it, but I just wanted to film this one so that, um, no, no, just in, in case, case we don't. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get the release. Sweet. Oh, dude. Got one. It's a nice brook trout. Real nice brook trout. I'm recording. Can you give me the net though? Hit the dry too. Literally all the way up at the edge of that current. That's a good one. Did it just come off? Yeah. Oh, that was easy. Watch your rock. The net is in the water. Okay. I thought that happened. Someone jumps to me rather than jumps All right, down. guys. So, there we go. Got one actually on camera that time. This was a lot bigger, too. Oh, too far away. So, oh. there we go. Gorgeous little fish. That's so awesome. Threw all the way up in the edge of this current and got a dry fly hit. So, can't complain about that. John. It's a good one. Guys, I just sight fished the crap out of that trout. Not bad, probably 15, so. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
Oh my gosh. Hope you guys saw where that thing hit. Oh yes. That's a pretty good trout right there, guys. John, well, you will not believe where I caught this fish. Can I see this? It's a good brown trout for that. I mean, it's not giant, but beautiful. Oh, it's so good. Oh, gosh. Got lost in there, buddy. All right, you want to get the release? Yeah, we get a release on him. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the Arkansas River video. Um, caught a bunch of browns, mostly browns, all browns, actually. Um, there's rainbows in there, there's cutbows in there and stuff. We didn't catch any of those. Probably because we were throwing streamers. We could have thrown nymphs and stuff, but but um, 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 we didn't. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you tomorrow when we fish either the Eagle River or the Blue River. We'll see. I'll figure that out when, it, when the time comes. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Um, stay tuned for the remainder of the Colorado fishing videos. And we're seeing these fish and we're just setting up on them and catching them. Most of them are on the tungsten bead head, uh, zebra midge, size 20 or 22. A couple are on the dries, but it's just really fun fishing. So we're gonna keep going. We're still trying to get the slam. I've caught a rainbow trout, which is actually the first rainbow trout I've caught in the trip.